Good morning, Minister, ladies and gentlemen. To be secure or not to be, that is the question. You can feel secure if you are not, and you can be secure even if you do not feel it. Every time you want to get some security, you trade off something. Money, time, privacy. I absolutely agree with security guru, and there is nothing wrong with it. People have intuition about these things and make security decisions every day. This year, as the minister said, cybersecurity incidents show that feeling and reality, even in public sector, are not the same. They are not, definitely not the same in the cybersecurity domain. Shadow, brokers, WannaCry, Petya. These attacks decrease trust and damage. Damage a company's reputation. Our reputation depends on the trust of our customers. Corporate trust and reputation are important. In fact, they are every company's or organization's most valuable assets. Trust and reputation go hand in hand and need to be protected and enhanced. An excellent reputation always translates to a bottom line, but a bad reputation can definitely be damaging the company's future. Cyber crimes, cyber risks, and any other negative hits to a company's reputation often damage consumer trust. And any decline in trust means a negative hit to business growth. Therefore, a CEO cannot take with security culture lightly. The latest security breach reports show that it is not enough to know, understand, or tell others about risks. Education starts with understanding motivation of employees, the awareness of senior managers that security incidents happen due to employee mistakes, negligence, poor knowledge, and lack of practical experience at workplace. Learning by doing, that's the correct recipe. Not once a year, but improving culture again and again. We have heard that cybersecurity is an IT problem. And employees are the weakest link in the security, no. That's old-fashioned thinking, let's move on. Your people are a part of a good solution, not a problem. Let's turn them into the human firewall. Everyone has a role to play in cybersecurity, whether it's protecting their families from identity theft, protecting their workplace from cyber attacks, or protecting their communities from cyber predators. Security culture is a holistic view of things, our skills, habits, attitude, and beyond. Join these things so that they work for you. The organization's culture is a critical factor when we are dealing with human behavior. That is it. It's the unspoken rules, rewards and punishments, collection of company traditions, and delivery of cybersecurity strategy does not have to be dry. It can be engaging and even fun. A positive security culture could be balance. Mixed nano-learning with gamification elements, re-engineering mindsets, playing cyber games, hack your people, awaken to pissing scenarios, for example. This year, we have had good experiences, too. So the global ISACA celebrates its 50th anniversary. ISACA organization engage people in activities, giving labs, tools, and research results for the development of cybersecurity competencies on its new platform. And in Latvia, we are proud of our people. We are growing so fast, thanks to new cybersecurity students and scientists in regional and city universities. In conclusion, I would like to thank our sponsors, LMT, Accenture, Squalio, for their contribution. I suck to Gaza, we certainly organized this conference at the start of October, which is Cybersecurity Month in all of Europe. 
This year's conference focuses on risk mitigation strategies. This event will guide you with answers and solutions to our security problems. I wish you all a good journey. Thank you. Thank you.